All right, I'm Eliza Gilkerson, and uh, is <laughs> somebody going to ask me something? Or <laughs> well, uh, we're here live at the Coverell Folk Festival, she, 2008. She just finished main stage, and that was a very lovely set. As Thanks. Well. I had my band with me, and uh, and we remembered that the first time I came down here was in. Well, it, Rod was the one who remembered what year it was, but it was early, it was 76, he said, 1976, I first came here, with a nine-piece band. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but um, anyway, you know, we just keep coming back. We love it. Very nice. Do you spend uh, a lot of time out in the campgrounds, or? Is... I have never camped, I'm proud to say. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, I, I, I just was never, I never camped here, I, and I'm sure I missed out, but, um, but uh, I, I love it that people do that. It's like that's part of the experience in what I hear. Do you guys camp? I do, absolutely. <laughs> you and do? It's a, it's a completely different world out I, there. I know. Um, it's a whole other thing, and it goes on all night long. And, um, yeah. So we are, as curverts, challenging musicians to spend at least one night out on the ranch. And, you know, that's a really good idea. Before I die, I'm going to spend one ding-dang full night here at Kerrville out in the campgrounds. What is uh, amongst your favorite things about Kerrville? Um, you know what it is? It's a, the, I love the backstaging because I run into friends that I never see anywhere. I, I ran into so many old friends tonight. It just, it just warmed my heart to see some some of my favorite musicians and Bobby Bridger who's been here every year I think he's been here every year since it first started and um, you know he's just such a great guy and he wrote that song that everybody sang for every, a million years at the end of the night and um, what was the name of that song? I'm on there together we're healing the wisdom we'll understand yeah anyway uh, you know, this this uh, festival has seen me through a lot of incarnations, and blessedly, I think you know what I'm doing now is is the is as true to myself as as I could be. But um, you know, I've come down here with you know with sort of a, a punk band, and <laughs> I came down here with a jazz band, a punk band, a folk band, and uh, you know now I just bring my my son on drums and my great guitar player Mike Hardwick and Glenn Fukunaga, my old friends. So it's always fun. Is there anybody that inspired you growing up to become a, a singer? My dad, Terry Gilkison, was a folk singer. Had a band called the Easy Riders, so I was hooked very early on. Yeah. Do you have any projects that you're working on currently that are we will be seeing soon? I, I have a brand new record out called Beautiful World, and it's out actually day after. It's out on uh, the 27th of June. So it's already here at the festival, but um, uh, that's what I'm going to be touring for the next year. Is uh, beautiful world. Very nice, and you have a website that we could send Liza people to. LizaGilkerson.com. LizaGilkerson.com. Mm -hmm. Very good, and we'll also include a link through our MySpace and things okay. like that page or Great. two. All right, you, I have a MySpace page too, but it doesn't have my dates or anything. It's not okay. as in depth. But, yeah. What is the MySpace, by the way? Uh, it's just my name, Liza Gilkerson. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, we sure appreciate your set, and hope you make it back to Kerrville next time very soon, and bring it, bring it to All right. And, thanks. And okay. it's a, uh, it's a different scene out there after dark. I know it. I just walked around out there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, thank thanks. you very much. Thank you.